evening people so well it's evening here anyway and I don't know I sorry just I just don't think that I have any you know strength in me I mean I do try I really do but I see myself as a failure and I know I'm not, but I just can't escape the feeling and people around me started to, um, you know, just, just, I'm not, I don't know how to say, but they just, they just, I don't think they get me, I don't think they get how I feel, and, I'm sorry, I just, I just stay in my stomach hurts now, so. I ate some uh, muesli and some cornflakes and soy milk because I can't drink cacao milk because of my allergies and you know what, it's all fucked up. I think I'm just, I feel like I'm falling apart and I think, you know, my, I, you know, last time I was at the doctor I was anemic and uh, I did try to take stuff to counter counterpart that, but it doesn't work, and I, I mean, on, I'm just, I'm just gonna bluntly and honestly say, I just, I'm just not happy. First, I'm not happy with myself. Sorry. Second, I'm not happy with. I mean, sadly, I'm not happy with the people I'm surrounded, and. I can't escape that because if, if I isolate myself totally from other people, I'll be left alone. And then again, I'm just thinking, is it all worthy, you know, to be around people that I don't like, really? I don't know. And I don't know. I'm just trying to find any... Uh, I'm just trying to find some little, little spark of hope in everything I'm going through, but I'm, you know, I'm just, I just don't like myself. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about what other people are talking, ex like external. I'm talking about internally. I, I just don't feel like I, you know, I feel like when I talk to people in person, I have to pretend that I'm much happier that I have, you know, that I'm much outgoing, and I'm not, and I just, you know, sometimes I just want to scream, I don't know, and I'm so tired, I don't sleep, people, I, I literally don't sleep, I'm much, you know, I was at a psychologist last year, I don't know what, what year it was actually, and I remember I couldn't sleep like for weeks, for months at all, like for an hour maybe at night. And that's for plus sleeping pills. And he just said it, you know, I went to psychology testing and it was three hours. And he just said, well, you know, you're just full of worries, anxieties, you know, anxiousness and stuff. And I mean, that didn't help. I mean, I still don't sleep. The thing is, you know, how to explain that I just don't fucking sleep I think I'm just thinking my brain is always working it's like overload of thoughts I'm just thinking and thinking and thinking even when I dream I dream that I'm thinking about the things I'm gonna think when I wake up I know it doesn't make sense and I know you're gonna have to really think about what I said but it's really happening and I'm sorry about the torn shirts, but that's why that's how I like them. Because I don't like my shirts being here. It chokes me. I like it when it's cut. And I know it's not really, you know, nice to show myself on YouTube like that, but you know what, who cares? I don't care. I don't care about clocks. And that's one more thing, because people think that I really care about how I look like, because, you know, People do care about how they look like, of course. We are, we are all a little bit narcissistic, but honestly, all I do is wash my hair and trim my beard and my mustache, and that's it. I wash my face, and that's it. 
I don't I don't have any like you know not routines that make you know that like if I get a zit or something that I go crazy I don't care I have it here and who cares it'll go away you know or it everything goes away except my feeling of self-loathing and and a feeling of that I just that I'm just not worthy of this life even if I do contribute much more than other people to my art and I am semi I'm gonna say semi semi well known here in the region and I'm just tr starting to go outside my country and present my work but it doesn't even it doesn't you know to me it's not work because I live art so it doesn't make me really happy I don't know I guess I guess I know when people say they're happy that's the thing I don't know what I mean because I never actually feel I don't know what happiness is that's the thing I'm not sure when I'm happy am I happy when am I happy right now maybe I'm more happy right now but I don't know I don't know how to how to know that I'm happy, you know, how to feel happy, how how happiness feels, I don't know. You see, that's the thing, I just think too much. And when you think too much about one thing, it leads you to another, and another, and another, and in the end you just don't know what's happening. Yeah. And I was keeping an eye on my friend's cats, he's got two cats for three days now, and I was feeding them and petting them, and... You know, it was an experience because I have three cats of my own, but, you know, it made me sad, I don't know why. It made me so sad, everything made me sad, I don't know what's happening. You know, is it normal to cry all the time because of the little things? Not because of the, you know, I don't know. You know, I know these videos and this channel is not anything special, but the thing is, you know, when I look at other people's channels, you know, I look at them, it all seems very, I don't know, stage or cliche to me, anyway, to me, anyway, I don't know. And the only honest ones that I see are really, you know, the ones that stand out to me and that I can cry with and not just watch it and say, oh, you know, and forget about it. There are some people that really imprint on you. That's why I started this, this journey with you, because I was thinking, I'm going through so much fucking stuff that are really horrible, and maybe I, if, I, if I share it with the world, with people, maybe it'll make me better, and it does make me better, because I know that every night, every day, you know, anytime I want to, I can talk to you people, and that some of you will understand. And, you know, you see, my, my voice is starting to tremble because I would cry now and I, I shouldn't cry because I just remembered, I remembered something that I saw in one other channel and it made me cry so much and I don't want that person to die, you know. I'm not going to name names anymore because, you know, and I think you'll know who I'm talking about, somebody with cancer as well. I don't want him to die because it will, it will break me, you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. You know? And the thing is, I don't know why. Why do I have to say I'm sorry? You know, that's the thing. Is it normal to to say sorry all the time? Oh yeah. So you know, just just just. Just, I beg you, just, you know, just stay with me and let's see what's gonna happen because I think that there's gotta be something good coming my way because this can't be it because it takes to, it, it lasts for like years now that I feel miserable and there's gotta be a good thing coming, right? There's gotta be because I'm not doing any, anything wrong. I'm not hurting people. I'm not... I'm not a materialist, I'm not begging for money, I'm not scamming people, I'm not stealing, I'm just working, I work what I love, I think that's the most important thing, 
you know, I love my parents, I love my sister, I love my cats. I love the people that I'm close to, but there's so many, so little people I'm close to and I can trust it. And that's one one thing that makes it all worse actually. And then I when I see this channel where people are honest it, 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 it just, it, it, it speaks to me and it makes me so sad and then I just see myself, you know, like, like I shouldn't be doing this because I'm still alive and I'm still well enough to at least hike, walk, you know, and stuff. I don't know, I, I think I'm just off the subject now. And my stomach hurts again here because of my... You know, because of my acid reflux and stuff that I'm going through my my stomach or because of my hernia here. And I notice that it's getting worse as I get emotional. And that's something I can't, um, you know, I can't affect mentally because, you know, I guess anxiety and anxiousness, it just comes like... Today I just went out of the door to the, my building and I was going to the tram and like five five minutes from my house I was just covered in sweat and there was no reason for it because I wasn't feeling bad, I wasn't feeling sad, I wasn't feeling really depressed. I just think that it's something that comes eterna, in, internally outside. It's like a cleanse or something because I guess bad emotions got to come out somewhere and as I'm not a person that's going to shout, shout or scream or you know beat up people I guess maybe I keep it too much inside of me I don't know I mean I'm opening myself to you people so that's a plus because I wouldn't be able to talk to psychiatrists like this any you know no way Yeah, so it's 12 minutes now, I, I'm gonna go because, you know, nobody will be able to look at this to the end. I mean, I know I'm boring and and there are better channels to watch, so just enjoy and have a nice day, nice evening, nice night, and remember there are people that are worse than we are, and I really want them all the best. And, you know, it just makes me sad. It makes me sad to think about those people. I just don't want them to die. And it's not its not about dying and death. It's about the way they die. Because they're too young to die from the things that, you know, are not right for us people. I mean, why, why did we deserve to be sick and not enjoy life? You know, there are people that has no legs and arms and they're so happy. And then I feel so guilty because I feel horrible and they don't. I don't know. I don't know where this, where this monologue went to. But anyway, thank you and stay, stay with me, okay? Thank you.